Well, it is that time of year that a lot of people are starting to think about putting a mineral lick out for the white-tailed deer in their area. Now this is the trophy rock and it has been a popular choice for a lot of people for many years and for good reason. This works. But what if I told you you can get the exact same ingredients that work just as well at a quarter of the price? That's right, 75% cheaper than what this trophy rock cost. Well, the secret's gonna be out. Stick around for the savings. Welcome back to my channel today. It's all about deer minerals, or more specifically, the trophy rock. I will tell you how you can save over 75% on the purchase price, but first I want to start off with a little disclaimer. I am not uh, intending to public shame anybody who would buy trophy rock, uh, whether you have in the past or you plan to in the future. Uh, that's fine. I am just simply sharing some tips and tricks and some things I've learned over the years. So if you're looking to trim down some on your budget, but yet get the exact same same results uh, stick around this is gonna be pretty interesting so now let's get into the savings uh, this trophy rock again it's called the trophy rock it's a 12 pound block and it's made by Redmond hunt now this works and it has been proven for many years a lot of people uh, use this and have had great results this label has included the many trace minerals that are included with this block. Again, it's primarily salt, uh, but it has a lot of natural trace minerals included in it. Uh, the label here gives what the guaranteed analysis is, and it's very handy to be able to look at that and to know exactly what you're getting inside of this. Again, this is made by Redmond Hunt, called the Trophy Rock. But if you look down here in the small print, uh, this block is from Utah, and it's from a company called Redmond Minerals Incorporated. And that is gonna be a key to your savings. Now I can admit, this is the first trophy rock I've ever bought in my lifetime. Now I've used uh, minerals for many, many years, uh, but I have always felt that if you buy any package uh, that has a picture of a deer on it, and it is geared towards sportsmen, uh, it always seems that the price is inflated. And I think I'll be able to prove to you that that is the case uh, with this trophy rock. Check this out. Now this is a trace mineral block made by Redmond Minerals Incorporated. Have you heard of them recently? Well, this block here is geared uh, towards agriculture and it's sold to farmers uh, like the hunting farmer. In fact, I buy a lot of these blocks uh, for my cattle and it is a proven winner. I trust uh, my livelihood to the cattle that I raise and I have to give them the best salt and nutrients uh, that I can. And Redmond salt is part of my diet for my animals that I raise here on the farm. Now I've been using these Redmond blocks for my cattle for countless amounts of years. It wasn't until recently uh, when I went past a display that had these trophy rocks that really got me thinking when I got to checking out the label. Let's compare the two labels uh, from this agricultural trace mineral block sold by Redmond Minerals uh, to this trophy rock. So when you do check out the label and check out the ingredients for both the agricultural block here and the trophy rock uh, meant for the white-tailed deer, you can see that they are absolutely identical. In fact, every single ingredient and every single number uh, are the exact same on both this block for the cattle and this block for the deer. I cannot find any difference whatsoever. And again, if you look at the fine print, uh, which company makes each one of these and where they came from, well, that's identical too. So from my observation, I would say that this block is the exact same ingredients as the trophy rock. Now there is one huge difference between these two, and you guessed it, that's the price. When you figure out uh, this trophy rock, and of course the prices may vary across the country, but I did buy uh, one of these rocks just for today's video, and this was $12.95. When I break that down into ounces, uh, this trophy rock cost over six cents per ounce. And more specifically, it was 0.67 cents per ounce. Now you wanna guess uh, how much this block cost? Well, this is a 40 pound block and that's 40 pounds compared to this 12 pounds. But when I figure the cost per ounce on this block, it is 0.187. So just shy of two cents uh, per ounce when you buy it uh, here. Now what would make such a difference? Well, apparently farmers are either a poor brunch or just simply won't spend much for their salt. And obviously when they market it uh, to the sportsman and put a picture of a nice white-tailed deer on the front there, uh, they can get considerably more. 
Now you might say this is a handier uh, way to have 12 pounds compared to lugging 40 pounds. Depends where you're going and that's a valid point. But now there are ways around that. You can simply take uh, a wedged object and maybe a pretty heavy persuader and you can break one of these 40 pound blocks down into more manageable size. So according to what I would observe, I think these are the exact same item with the only difference being this one is less than two cents per ounce and this one is more than six cents per ounce. Now that is considerable savings. Now, as I already mentioned, I've been using these blocks for many years. A lot of times I'll set this block directly on the ground and the deer will lick the block, uh, but they don't lick it quite like my cattle do. Uh, my cattle, of course, the cows have a lot bigger and rougher tongue. They will lick huge holes in this in no amount of time. Uh, the deer don't seem to lick the holes quite as quickly, uh, but as the rains hit this block, it eventually soaks down into the ground. I haven't found it to deteriorate extremely fast. In fact, uh, this block will stick around for quite some time, but I have observed that the deer actually like uh, the ground better than the actual block. So if you could mix this block up uh, with the dirt and the ground, or put it on a piece of uh, stump like this and it soaks down into the wood, uh, it, from my experience, the deer like that even better. But something I have personally found works better and it's even cheaper that's Redmond salt fine. Now this again is the exact same ingredients when you look at the label and the guaranteed analysis. This bag has the exact same ingredients as the trophy rock and this block here is just in a fine granular fashion. Now this has been my go-to and this is what I found works extremely well. If you can pour some of these granulars out into the ground and mix the ground up with it or I like to find an old stump like this and use a drill with a bit on it, maybe drill one inch holes all around it, maybe a few in the top, and then if you pour some of these granules all around the top and into those holes as it drips down the side, some of the bottom can get into the ground. That has been the absolute winner for me. I've been doing that for many years and I've had excellent results. Now I can't say a bag uh, like this is going to draw in every big buck for miles and miles around, but it will give you a good sense of the inventory of deer in your area. I have found they absolutely like it. It's chock full of those trace minerals that are important to deer this time of year, and it's definitely worth checking into. Now I had already mentioned that this is even more cost savings, and that is because this is a 50 pound bag, and you can get this for .0165 cents per ounce. So if you remember this was 0 0.187, this was 0 0.165. Now again, I buy this uh, by the skid full for my farm, uh, but the prices that I'm quoting you are just individual price. That's not any type of bulk price. Now you might ask, where can I find this? Where can I buy these? I have never seen uh, bags of Redmond salt like that. Well, that might be a bit of a challenge. And again, that's where uh, the Trophy Rock is so readily available in many different sporting goods stores or big box stores. But I'm gonna tell you to focus in on feed stores, maybe a local agricultural co-op or a feed mill, any type of uh, industry or store that's gonna cater more to farmers. That is where you're gonna find uh, the Redmond blocks or the Redmond bags just like this. Again, the key is to focus in on agriculture, uh, not hunting and sportsmen. Uh, anytime it has uh, the deer on the label, uh, you're definitely gonna pay more. In fact, uh, this spills over to many different avenues. If you look at different blocks that might uh, have peanut butter and jelly or apple or all types of different flavors, more times than not, they're just simply using molasses in that as the base and then adding artificial uh, colors and smells. So again, at that agricultural store, you can buy molasses by the bag in a dry powder form, or you can even buy it in a liquid. You can buy five gallon buckets full of molasses and it's gonna work every bit as good as uh, the flavored type ingredients, the liquids maybe you would pour around. Uh, focus in on ag because you can save a lot of money. You can buy your own molasses and mix your own mixes up for just a fraction of the cost. And you don't even want to get me started on seeds. Uh, so many seeds I see are marketed towards sportsmen. They simply have a picture of a big buck, have a catchy name on it. But when you look at the ingredients, it's the exact same seed that you can get at the local ag store for less than half the price, sometimes a quarter of the price. Uh, the pictures of big buck on the bag, they must be really expensive. 
So there you go, the secret is out. You can get the exact same ingredients at a fraction of the cost. Now Redmond does have a website and you can check out uh, their website for a dealer locator. Uh, you can do a search there and find one in your area. I would also suggest just simply asking when you go to your local uh, feed co-op or a local agricultural store in your area, maybe you wanna hunt one down, simply ask them about Redmond Minerals. Uh, you can save a lot, and in fact, uh, looking around on the Redmond website, they will ship some of their products, but a lot of them, uh, of course, the shipping is going to drive the price up. They do make a uh, portion for human consumption. In fact, I found it very interesting that you can buy a 10-ounce shaker. When I look at those ingredients, I have reason to believe it's the exact same uh, product as what's listed here, and that uh, salt shaker uh, comes in just cheaper than the Trophy Rock. So from the human consumption to the animal consumption to the wildlife consumption, uh, the wildlife is the highest priced out of all of those products. Uh, that goes to show something, uh, the sportsmen must really have deep pockets. I'm glad I'm part farmer. So I'd love to hear from you. What have been your experiences with the Trophy Rock or maybe you have found uh, the Redmond Minerals for sale in your area. Maybe you have a different uh, product that you swear by that you think works even better than the Trophy Rock. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any comments or questions, please put them down in the comment section. I love hearing from you. Hopefully you found this interesting and maybe even saved some money. I wanna thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.